Hey, Shabbat Shalom, you caught me in the act. Today I'm actually busy counting. Counting each and every student who participated in our many programs during the last few months. Well, that's actually very relevant because this week's Torah portion, we begin the fourth book of the Torah known as the book of Bamidbar. Interestingly, this book also has the name Numbers. Why is that so? Because the beginning of this book and the very end of this book details God's commandment to Moses to count the Jewish people both at the start of their 40-year journey in the desert and at the end. What does it mean that God told Moses to count the Jewish people? To me, when you count people, you're diminishing their significance. When you count people, you're making them sound just like a number. What is the message here? Here's what's fascinating. When the Torah commands Moses to count the Jews, it uses an interesting term. It doesn't use the term monet, which means to count. Rather, it uses the term lifkod. The word lifkod means counting, but it also means a lot of other things in the Torah. If you scan the entire Torah, you will find many other times where the Torah uses that same word lifkod, but in a very different context. In the book of Genesis, about Sarah, lifkod means to remember. We find King David says the word lifkod in the context of you will be missed. We also find that when it comes to the Levites, the Torah tells us lifkod in the context of responsibility. So here we see something amazing. The same word that is used to count is also used to tell you that you will be remembered, that you will be missed, that you have a responsibility. And this is really the message that I want to share with you today. When the Torah tells us to count every person, the Torah is reminding us that we need to make sure that every person counts. Never diminish the role of an individual. Never underestimate the impact you can have in this world. To the world, you may be just one person, but to one person, you are the whole world. These days, I'm spending so much time on Zoom. And yesterday, I got to say goodbye to all of our seniors on Zoom. And I realized it wasn't the same. Even though we were all there virtually, it wasn't the same as if we were all present in this room. And the reason why it was different is because your presence was missing. Virtual life reminds us the crucial role that your presence plays in every single situation. If you're not in the room physically, we feel that you're missing. What a powerful reminder that you count. So as we embark to a Shabbat of counting, I ask you, please, don't ever allow a moment to pass in the coming week where you doubt your existence, where you question your worth. You need to recognize there's only one of you in this world. And when God tells Moses to count every Jew, God is also telling us that we have a responsibility to make sure that every single person counts, starting with ourselves. So make it a great day, make it a great Shabbat, and make it count.